Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you've noticed, there's been a bit of a trend. Um, and the conversations in the comments were, we need a lot more of this. We need a lot more of help with our finances. Guys, I've been having this conversation since the start of lockdown. What are you not learning? But I'm like you. So I know that every time something creeps up, I'm like, so I didn't, I didn't do that right? I didn't manage this right? Or the fact that last week you heard from Sherry about cryptocurrency and you got a bit excited because now you thought you're a pro. Easy, I told you easy. Let's get as much information as possible. That way when you eventually make the decision, which I know you will, you will know. And you know we know better, we do better. <laughs> Uh, today, um, I'm actually meeting her for the first time. Yeah. Yes. Um, I'm in Abolunua, who's from Bidawa Zainab Advisory. Yes. Yes. So there's a story. There are stories, actually, <laughs> I think, Amina. But so where are we going to start this story? Because you're a finance expert or finance advisor. So you're the person we come to to understand our business maybe business finances or just personal finances as well? Um, both business and personal finances, but right. right now I'm pushing out personal finances more. Mm. Business is aiming on strategy, yes, business strategy. Yes, yes. I thought it's because you realize we don't handle our money well. No, I know you don't handle your money well. I know you don't. I know you don't. <laughs> Matter of fact is that we've been doing some research um, in Uganda about savings. Mm. And the funny thing is you find that the women in the villages, yes, even mm. if they save little, save more than us. They're consistent? They're consistent. Mm. They're consistent because they know there is no one else there. Like, you know <laughs> us, we have... No one is coming to no save them. No one is coming to save them. <laughs> yes. And oh. they have to save. I hadn't thought of it that way. Because I'd imagine for them, when they know if I have 500 shillings, mm. I have... And actually, I think they see the value of money more yeah, than we more do. more than we do. Yes, because you, you, you know, you'll dismiss whatever you have until you're on zero, and then start saying, what do we do? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I want mm -hmm. to start with you, because also the value of us understanding you helps us to understand why you're in this chair, you know, because some yeah. of you are like, she looks like she has it all, you know? But off air, you were telling me how the story starts of you clicking to say, I've got to take care of myself mm -hmm. and my finances. Where does it start? True. So, um, June 2017, June 18th, I celebrate my birthday. Yeah. I come i go home the following day ask my dad for a pair of shoes um so he goes like you know I'd ask your boyfriend because he had just met my boyfriend for the first time yeah. i go like okay so some something indicated that you know you're about to be cut off and this is after university this is yeah this is after university yes. i've just graduated mm. earlier in jan and goes like you're about to be cut off so i go to moves i apply for a job <laughs> i had passed I apply for a job. Um, our records are public, so in case uh, yeah, I apply for a job and I get hired in September. I remember September 11th, okay. 2017 was my first day. And that, I think him cutting me off was the best thing that ever happened to me. That doesn't sound like he planned to cut you off though. It I sounded like <laughs> because you, there was a situation you just said, I don't want to take care of you financially anymore? Yeah, I, th I think so. But I think he had planned it because he had offered me a job. Before that, that Bef conversation, yeah. of I'm, I'm not going to give you money anymore. And I had rejected the job. And I needed to ask you that again. Mm. Did you reject the job because it was dad offering the job? Or you just weren't ready to work at that time? I wasn't ready to work and also because it was him offering the job. There is <laughs> a lot of politics in mm. an institution where your mm. relative is working. Yeah. So, but I didn't want to work. I hadn't made up my mind. I wanted mm. to study. I was doing my CFA. I wanted to go and do a master's degree. So I always say... And this whole time, who did you expect to take care of you? My father. father. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, dad. My dad. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm truly blessed. My dad. Amen. Um, so I kept on saying, I'm going to be a very, very educated housewife because I was planning <laughs> to go until my PhD. <laughs> You're like, I'm the housewife with a PhD. Yeah. There you Proud. go. I get a job in Moobs yeah. and I start seeing, I didn't go into personal finance then, but mm. then so we start doing financial management. Yeah. And I start relating that, you know, what, you, what the business is doing is actually what the human being needs to do for their own money. Yes. It's exactly the same. The only difference is maybe a business will be charged way more in the bank mm. than you are. 
So I start handling my money. I think there is a story on um, Maya B's page that talks about how I blew through 10 million shillings. They took a long to pay us, so they give us a check mm. of like 10 million. I save some, Maya holds sip and shop at her shop, then I just go and just blow the money. Like it's, I just buy so many use, okay, not useless things, so mm. many dresses. I think this was, 20, this was 2017. I did not wear and I gave out this year. Wow. So I, that point in time when I went like, I mean, uh, like what's really, mm. what are you holding dear? Is it the clothes? Mm. I know you enjoy clothes, but it's, it's not worth it. Yeah. So that's how I got into the finance space. Teaching. But at this point, her dad, <coughs> yes, I know he's taking care of you, he's buying you anything, you're graduating. Mm. Is he saying this is how we use money? Or how much do you need and here it goes? Was there a conversation with, with dad in the sense of, yes, I can provide whatever you need as mm. you're growing up, but also this is how they handle money? No, unfortunately, there was never that wow. conversation. Okay. So I, I grew up a bit, a bit spoiled. Spoiled, you can say it. A bit spoiled. <laughs> I didn't know how to manage it. I yeah. knew it would come in. And it will keep coming. It will keep coming. Mm, I, I like didn't know how to work for it. Yeah. I, so I think what in 2017, whatever happened was mm. the best thing. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> was the best thing. <laughs> now in ever hindsight, happened. thank you. I don't yes. think the thank you was then. No, not mm. then. Um, was the best thing that happened because I learned mm. how to. And I think the other thing was. Um, in 2019, I, I remember December, you know, the excitement. I'd just mm. been paid. Um, again, they, they surprised me with a brand new car on 24th December, and it gets crushed on 25th. Wow. The money was in the car. All of my salary was in the car. The car gets crushed. Everything gets stolen. My sister's camera, you know, all of those vlogging cameras mm. and whatever. And I go, I'm going into the new year with zero. Yeah. So this is when I say appreciating myself. I say appreciating life, relationships. Mm. And I say going like, you know what? I mean, uh, you cannot keep on being this careless. Mm. Even if this is 2019, two years after I'm working, you cannot keep on being this careless. Yeah. So from then on, I think the first thing I worked on was... Um, I worked on my dates, I cleared my car debt, mm. I then say building an emergency fund, and then mm. in my head I'm going like, and then COVID kicks in. Mm. So now I, I'm not working, money is coming in. How do you spend this money? Yeah. What do you know about this money? So I, I'd already said doing investments because my dad was someone who, he, I'm sorry, he's a very, very crucial person in my, mm. uh, in my story. Uh, we would do investments, and I remember I was in charge of, the, I think, the family, opening up accounts for all of them with crested capital, mm. trying to figure out, move money here, move money there. So I knew a bit about mm. that. And having studied finance um, at the bachelor's level, I, I was you already... Had basics, I had the least. basics. Yeah. And also availability of technology. I mm. liked tech because it made your life simpler. If we're arguing about something, yeah. let's ask Google, right? Yes. So I think that's how I got into it. And I started asking myself, how do I start helping people? How do I start, especially women, and the fact that um, as a woman, you see, I'll, I, uh, you never know what kind of position you'll be in. You yeah. see so many women um, being in relationships that are bad for them because of money. Like, stay there because you love, not because of money. Mm. So let's get our money right. Yeah. And we move on. So I think that's it for me. Even the life you want. You just can't get the life you want. Because somebody was telling me that sometimes money also gives you the power to dream. Mm -hmm. Because people sit on their dreams because I can't, I can't afford to I can't think afford that to. big or yeah. that far. So... Yeah, money affords you a lot of, of thinking space, if I can say that. So, so that's how you started. So is that how then the advisory comes in? The advisory came COVID in. COVID time. COVID time, because mm. I was bored. And <laughs> I'd already said doing, like, um, I'd already said doing freelancing with, but um, 
but my target group of people are women in the in the markets and women in the villages. Oh. So because I knew, yes, you find people on Instagram, mm. they don't have money, but then you have enough data. These are not the people who, yes, we build the foundation, the nation, mm -hmm. sorry, but the backbone truly, as we do research, you mm. see the backbone is not us. The middle class is very little. Mm. The backbone is the people down. Yeah. So I figured go into Chibuye mm. where we found a place to sit and try and talk to them about money. Then wow. also in um, Iganga, I was doing it with Gavola Foundation, mm. talk to them about money. And then the advisory just, I don't even know how it happened. No, my dad advised me to do it. Yeah, it's like, I mean, do this at a large scale. Yeah. Nice. So it, it comes in and then I get onto Instagram one year later. I mm. got into, into Instagram last year, but Instagram is a lot of work. So I'm on and off, mm. but the advisor is there. And mm. my aim is women. So of women. all classes, of even as the middle income ones. Yes, 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 yes. You're the ones who are going to pay. But you know... During lockdown, I think I had a, a conversation with Barbara Katende who was saying that um, you're going to, it was the start of lockdown. Mm. So she was saying by the end of this lockdown, the people who will have suffered the most are you people who speak too much English and think, you know, I'm slaying on Instagram and all of that. Said, because you guys literally live, you know, mm. check to mouth and, and that's yeah. it. And after 30, less than 30 days, you don't have a thing. And that's why I think the conversation of emergency funds came out so much. Diversify, your, you know, your finances that, you know, because... But didn't think that, you know, and the people who are thinking were the ones you're talking about. The mm. woman in the market has like six sources of income. Yeah. You're thinking, but how? I earn more than 10 times more than you. How are you able? I used to even say my colleagues who earn less than us, are, but from the, um, you would understand the Luganda side of the radio mm. stations, have homes. They've built their homes. They have their small businesses plus the hardware. You're like, know, but how? I earn twice your salary or three times. How is it? But you know, it's how we live. It's how we live. You and... Know. Through my research over the years, mm. I've discovered that, okay, yes, we like to party too much, um, but then we do not prioritize. Mm. That's the issue, we do not prioritize. I mean, you know, someone buys data of 100K, but then you, you need food, Yeah. right? You need food. And then I keep on telling people, you cannot save if you do not have the basics. It's just wrong. Mm. And that's what people, us English speaking people do. Mm. We're in Chivinas, we're saving, but we do not have the basics. The basics. Mm. So you're still going to go get that money and put it into something right. else. Right. Yes. yes. This is why the savings accounts don't really stay savings accounts. No. Because you're depleting it half the time for yeah. anything. Okay, so then now, now um, when I was having a conversation with Sherry about cryptocurrency, I said to us that this is a chance for us to open our minds. Mm. Was even I think last year when I started the conversation about shares and stocks, most people were saying we don't even know what those things are, and therefore certain people they're not for us. Yeah. So the same thing with crypto is happening where people are believing it's for certain people and not for us. And I'm a big believer in nothing will you know everything will put our hands into it. So if we're going to get information on crypto, we're going to get information. Do you have? Bitcoin, is it? What is yes, it? You yes, do. yes, I do. Um, though, you know, when you're investing, okay, th there are two... An investor. There, there are two go. ways. Yes. One is a trader. One who A trader is one who does short term. Mm. May not even hold it for more than one hour. So, Whoa. But an investor, I, I hold it for a very long period mm. of time. So when you see... Um, like the Bitcoin price falling, those are mainly traders who are And the people panicking to, and tweeting and yeah. Yeah, they're mainly traders and misinformed investors because investors right. are longer, mm -hmm. um, you, you're putting your money in there for a longer period of time. Because first of all, um, being a trader is, is very hectic. You need to be on the screens all the time. Mm -hmm. So now if you're like me, you have um, a, um, a day job, I have to, I'm a faculty, then the advisory, then my own personal growth, I cannot be on the screen all yeah, the time. Yeah, that means yeah. it needs to become my job. But I know someone who's a very good investor, sorry, trader. Mm. He does trade for people. Mm. Um, Mr. Malik Musumba, mm -hmm. he's very, very good and he can trade for you. Yeah. But as an investor, I got into it as an investor. So yes. I hold it, I look at my portfolio and I cry, but... <laughs> 
I Explain know. to us. So, okay, let's just now break it down for people. So mm -hmm. now somebody wants to become then the Amina of a few years to come. Mm. So how did you start? Because I know when Sherry was here, she said for her years ago, she just said, you mean I can, you know, trade with so-and-so from the other country and me here without necessarily going through the, you know, the issues or the expenses. And for her, that triggered her to just say, given that me, the way I see myself, I'm going to be going global. Mm. This is something I need to latch on. What triggered it for you? Um, the job. Hmm. The job did, because... You know, when you're a teacher, they keep on saying teachers are not real teachers because we don't <laughs> practice. But for you to be a teacher or a lecturer, you need to do research, and your mm. research needs to be very good quality. So I figured I like money. So I'm already in finance. I like money. Yeah. Um, there was financial inclusion at that time, which is which, yeah, I'm doing a bit. But mm. then I like technology. Yeah. It makes life so simple. So I, when we were, when we're studying, you're hearing about blockchain, blockchain. Mm. Plus, I have a brother who I think now either works for Verizon or as a software, I think, architect. Mm. So he's been, he played a very, very big role in my okay. tech space. I got introduced to blockchain. I'm trying to figure out what, what does it do, what can and it do And those years, that wasn't even a conversation here. Yeah, in Uganda, it wasn't. It wasn't, yeah. It wasn't. What, what can it do? So I noticed, um, first of all, this is something that you cannot change. Mm. So that's what got my interest. And we're like, no, okay, go and research about yes. it. So um, being faculty, I and like research has to be like 20 hours mm. every week. Um, fintech. Mm. Fintech cryptocurrency comes in, I start learning about it, and I go like, okay, I can make money. Mm. I'm putting my money here. Yeah. Um, I did not put a lot. I think I kept on every month, I would put maybe, I think 60K, 60K every month. Whoa. And I, I have thought you were telling me like five hundred thousand. No, 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 no. Sixty thousand shillings. Sixty thousand shillings every month. And hmm. now the thing with me is, and this was for Bitcoin. Yeah. Mm, wow. I am, um, like I said, I'm a long-term investor. Yeah. I am investing. My my goal, because now if you come to the advisor, we're going to ask you what are your goals yes. for investing. My goal for investing is retirement. Mm. So that means I'm not pulling out any money at any one point. Now, like um, the students. Mm. You do find so many students are trading crypto and buying and investing in crypto right now. Because, first of all, they're studying about yeah. it. And um, as, as telling Apple mm. that the students, especially whenever I hold a crypto webinar or something, mm. they're the biggest number. Imagine that. Because they're learning about it and they, they want to get away from making money physically. It's mm. hard to make money now. My auntie keeps on telling me, oh, you need to be richer than all of us. I tell her, it's hard. How? <laughs> it's hard. Resources yes. are limited. Mm. We are more. If I can make money by putting my money somewhere where someone else is going to think about it, please. Why not? Why not? Mm. Yeah, so that's how I got into crypto. Mm. And okay. So for those, uh, because we now want to place mm. crypto or you know, Bitcoin, we don't want to place where this is. Because if I go to the money market funds or whatever, I can see where this is, okay, this is school fees, so X amount of maybe a year or two for this child. So this one, we've said retirement. But then there's those people who are saying, but I'm hearing people make money, you know, and I want that money. Maybe in a few months, I want to make that money. Is that who you're saying becomes a trader versus an investor or both? Both. The difference is how long you're holding your security. Right. Because as realistically, as an investor, you cannot put your money in for a day. Mm -mm. You can't. I even, me, I would not advise First you to put too your, good to be true. Yeah. The thing about financial, let me start from financial securities as a broad thing, is that they're volatile. Vol um, volatility means that the way their return keeps on, keeps on going up and down, up and down. So if you've seen, there's a, lot, uh, there's a lot of bant on Twitter about how MTN is not making money, mm. stocks are going down. Yes. That is expected to happen. If that doesn't happen, like why is it shocking worried. people? Because, because we don't because know. Because they don't know. Yes. 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 We are worried that it keeps on going down. But those are people who now, technically, those are people who are selling off their um, bonus shares. Because mm. I know people who got about ten thousand bonus shares, and are right now in dividends. I think 
with if you invested like 20 million getting back about 1.6 dividends but the market should be volatile if it's not moving there's a problem there's a problem mm. like uganda's market does not move yes mtn has been going down but it will go up after yeah. some time so with crypto crypto is very very volatile it's new so it's very volatile that means it can go up and down at any one point mm -hmm. so if it can go up and down at any one point you need to be able to watch it if yes. you want to make money in the short run we're talking about those who are excited want excited to, yes. now now you need to watch it mm. so i mean keep on checking your luno app in the morning mm. in the evening to imagine see imagine that guys that's stress alone right yeah so you can pay us the advisors the planners to, to be watch for you on your behalf yeah. i like that people do have targets mm. of i'm going to buy 20 at maybe 60k like i started then i need 80,000 out of this 60k mm. once i hit 80,000 i take out my money that's how trading works ah right once i hit this target i take out my money mm. but then the thing is um as as someone mm. saving mm. are you able to also know the numbers since it's very volatile i'm not able to say that my 100,000 can become 500 in next amount of time it's not assured. It's not assured, but mm. we can try and, and see if it will happen. We can try and extrapolate and see if it will mm. happen. If it has hit that price before in such a period of yes, time, then it, it will. It, will it, must, not, not must, it might really, most likely, it must likely do mm. so. Because um, in finance, we keep on saying the past doesn't represent the future. Mm. But <laughs> right. as you're trading, you're looking at trends mm. and seeing what has happened. Right. So, yeah, you can say my 100k will hit 500k only if it only if that has happened before mm. if it doesn't happen before then do not expect it to so happen. i guess what i'm asking for the average person to understand mm. is that if you've put your money in bitcoin mm. and you're saying me for me it's not now i'm i'm okay I, when i retire i need i need to have something nice mm. you can't you don't know right now what that nice will look like in those years when you do retire i do know okay because I, as I'm planning for myself, mm. I try and see, depending on how much I'm putting in, I try and see, I go back to the market and see how mm. has it performed uh -huh. over this period of time. And then you try and see how are the market conditions, how are people, what are the economists saying the market's going to, hap going to happen to the market in the near future. Mm. So through that, that's when you try and tell, okay, um, I can put in 100K and mm. then get 200K in like five years mm. because this was what has happened. Right. Anywhere you're putting your money, there's, there's nothing that's extremely guaranteed for you to just make. True, because even when you look at, um, I mean, this hotel, mm. the capacity is maybe, I don't know how many rooms, but how many poor, how many, how many losses do they yeah. get in terms of beds per night? Mm. People who have boutiques, they have dead stock, yeah. you know? Uh, you normally have a conversion cycle for your products. Mm. Maybe let's say six weeks. After six weeks, those products, that, that's a loss you've made. Yeah. So that's how investment works. Despite the fact that this you can see, mm. the other one you may not be able to see, to but see. you may not be able to sell this stock. Because mm. if I keep on coming, going to a shop where they keep on having the same things, I'll leave and go somewhere. Mm. So if Bitcoin is not moving up and down, People are going to leave it and go to what is moving mm. up and down for them to make money. But now I'm talking about the ladies in Iganga, you know, mm. the ones in the market and anyone who might be watching us and saying, but where will, when will I even need that? This cryptocurrency is not, not now. I'm good for now. And they want to think, well, maybe in three years, four years, I'll wait and see. What would you say to that person who's thinking it's not yet here? That thing is not yet here. Recently, um, the Kenyan Central Bank put out a working paper um, on digital, central bank digital currency. I think a week ago, the Bank of Uganda put out the same paper yeah. on trying to um, figure out is this going to work for us? Yes. So this is coming, whether you like it or not. Or not, yeah. This is coming. The thing with the banks now is that they want to use it to control how we move our money. Mm. So you may not invest in it, but it will most definitely 
not, not in the near future, but it will most definitely happen and the people in Iganga, the people in the market will embrace it more because it will be cheaper to use. Hmm. So people need to embrace it because it's coming, whether they like it hmm. or, not, or not, it's coming. Where we are going, minus the inflation and all, hmm. people are going, crypto is going to pick up. Like hmm. other stocks are picking up, crypto hmm. is going to pick up. So in your portfolio, it's, you can invest right now and it will make you money in the medium term, maybe three years. Mm -hmm. It will make you some money. But for you to, let's say, um, maybe you need money for your real estate and you mm. need about 100 million. For three years, you need to invest way more as compared to someone who would want to pull out oh, after 10 years. Right. Because the way this volatility works is the market always, you guys, always rebounces, mm. always goes back and shoots higher than what it has ever performed. So let's, let's, let's say something is taking my son to college, mm. for example, and that's not going to happen for another, I mean, he's two next month, so it's not going to happen for a couple of years, yeah. right? So is that something I can look at? Please go and put your maybe 500k into Bitcoin hmm. and wait for 18 years. You will not touch your money to pay for him. Yeah. You will not touch your money. Um, I think this is what my dad did, though he didn't put it into crypto. He mm. put it into um, stocks. Mm. I'm not sure it's stocks. For my younger siblings, mm. he said, I'm the, you're the last person I'm paying university for. Out of pocket. <laughs> I um, hear you. Let's plan for you in 18 plus years, you'll be at this point. Uh, my older, my younger brother is, mm. has now joined. Mm. He's not using his money. Nice. My younger sister is joining next year, then the other one after two years, he's not using his money. Mm. So, but for him, by the time he said planning, he had to put in a lot more. Yeah. A lot more. But if you're going to do it for your son, mm. and you need about 18 years, yes. you need very little money for you to get back mm. that money, unless... That's if I start? Start now. Now. Because the idea of investment, you know, we keep on talking about the eighth wand of the world, which is compound interest. Yes. That's what crypto brings you back. That's mm. what the stock market brings you back. Compound interest will bring you back way more money than you can ever work for in mm. your life. Unless, you know, you're getting deals of um, 100 million each and every time, <laughs> which don't come so often. Yeah. But crypto is a very, very good place, especially for the long term. Mm. But if you're a good trader, please go into it. Which, if we're talking about Flavia, I'm not going to be. So for me, I'm going with that one, where yeah. I can put something aside, 18 years. And also, like, because now if you're looking at someone who's my age group, mm -hmm. Who's, if I have one child, I'm going to have another. Mm. So that's another block of 18 years as well yeah. that I'm looking at. So it's not something you just stop at. And you know, um, crypto for women, if I, if I, if, if I must say, because I keep on talking mm -hmm. about women, 90%, actually 90, 98% of the time, the woman will have to take care of the, of the household. household. Mm. 98, people will think, keep on thinking I'm lying. Before the men throw things at the screen now. 98% <laughs> of the time, something yeah. will go wrong and mm. the woman, first of all, will live longer, right? Mm. So why shouldn't you put a little bit of crypto in your portfolio? Yeah, yeah. Why shouldn't you? Because it's only going to go up. The use, the use of the technology is just increasing. Mm. I, I, I wanted us to wrap with like just basics so, because you know how Uganda is. Everybody yes, has, mm. for example, a Facebook page, um, Instagram or whatever. But they don't necessarily understand certain things. There is fake news was a big deal even world over, not just Uganda, because people read and they can't tell whether the, what they're reading about I Amina mean, is the truth. Is the truth or not? Or not. Now, when I hear crypto, I see there's a lot of information. Mm. You so much coming at at like speeds, and so I want. Okay, I'm going online. I'm looking. How am I going to know who's scamming me and who isn't? Because I've had the word scam. Even if I think this is a perfect person, they're like, nope, scam, scam, scam. I'm like, oh my gosh. Now, if I'm getting confused, I can imagine my people, eh? they're going to mm. go on and just not understand what to do. First of all, myself, I do webinars, I do teach, I yes. advise. You can find me on 
BZ Advisory on Instagram. Okay. And then I like to use Investopedia. I, it's, it's very, very brief, straight to the point. Mm. And also Wikipedia. Sometimes people change wiki, the information on they Wikipedia, yes. but um, the, the thing I can advise is read. Mm. I know we do not like reading. You know that. If right? you do not like reading, <laughs> the other alternative is come to professionals. Yes, yes, yes. Otherwise, read. Because when you keep on reading, there are so many... If I go into Google and I go and Google your, your name, mm. right? Someone may have put out an ad. Sorry, may have paid Google so that their web... Is, is top. Is top. Top page, Instead yeah. of yours. Mm. Yep. And you are the owner of the page. Mm. So you can't really tell. You only tell by getting more information about Compare. This. So don't just read a Compare. minute later and then stop there. No. Read the next person. Because also what I liked even in doing research for crypto, and I love that. Uh, same topic, five other different people wrote about it. Mm -hmm. Or six other different blogs wrote about it. Or mm. YouTubers. Six, some, so you can't just believe one, for yeah. example. And you listen to three or four and you're like, okay, this, these are the things that they are all saying. This is the sum, something I mean I said that and didn't say yeah. and why. I think the only thing that I would tell you to go and read that where they're not lying is um, scholarly art articles. Yeah, but of course. That's, 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 that's not for everyone. That's not for everyone. No. Yes. So from there, if you cannot do that, watch videos and compare information. Mm. I think that's the best thing for right, to do. Right, right. So I, I, I feel a need to just nudge you before you leave just on off the top of your head, tips for investing, right? Because someone is now excited to say, okay, I have to put my money somewhere, but just off the top of your head. One, emergency fund, emergency fund, emergency it's, fund. So it's no longer a COVID fund, it's emergency fund. And, um, you know, yes, I'd like to talk about women and, and why. Yeah. As a woman, especially, you have a child. Mm. You know the accidents are more, yeah. right? You need money somewhere mm. for you to in case in case something happens i always say there's a panic health fund he yeah. has a cough for a week it's not going away you visited three doctors mm. this pediatrician is not working let me visit the other that's all right? money you want your children to go into extracurricular activities yes. and you know sometimes as a woman uh, yeah your man will provide but that's two percent of men <laughs> some men are going to ask you i mean where is the rest? Where is your money? Oh, why? This is our child, mm. right? And I also believe it's only right. I've, I, I've, I've grown up from a Muslim family mm. where, you know, in Islam, we, we preach more about the man taking care of us, which, family, is, yeah. which is true, right? So I know about that. I know, but to some point, at some point, you ask yourself as a woman, I think I should say it's in Uganda, Rachi Nerumia. Mm, see? Yeah. So have your emergency fund, have mm. your money on the side, and then invest your money. Mm. Because your money is not going to sit on a bank account and bring you back more money. Fixed deposits are a lie that are below 10 million shillings. Mm. Are a lie. I think we need to come from this world where we just want to, eh, I'm rich. Mm. And you keep, you keep checking. Balance, I'm rich. Unless you have 10 million and above, a mm. fixed deposit is not for you. Right. So invest your money. Put your money in stock, mm -hmm. right? Put your money in, for example, um, I bought MTN shares and because I know how it works. Yeah. When they gave me the bonus shares, I sold. I made money through the bonus shares. shares yes. And now I know I'm going to get a dividend. Okay, no, I'm not I'm getting a dividend on someone else's money, but... Mm. Invest your money. That's the yeah. only way because we have 24 hours. We cannot pull, keep on pushing. Mm. The number of videos you can do in 24 hours will be 24 hours unless you yeah. don't sleep, don't eat, and they have... Also, the, that means the quality is low. Yeah. yeah. So where else can you put your money without? Let it grow. Investing, mm. financial assets. Um, so emergency fund. Mm. Put... And then research. You cannot do away. We can't do circles around it. If not, please come to me. <laughs> to an expert, yeah. And we talk about it. Mm. But have an emergency fund yeah. and research. Mm. And the other thing is, I think 
the last thing is I would encourage women to talk more about money. investments okay. and money. Because mm. that means if we come here and talk about it, we've talked mm. about cryptocurrency, how many people are on your platform mm. that are going to go back and go like, okay, I think this is somewhere I can put my mm. money. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Mm. Let's open the conversation. And these are not conversations for the corners and the corridors, no, 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 eh? no, no, please. No. Mm -mm. Out here in front of everybody. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Hopefully, so much this for is one me. of many that we can sure. have you here to delve into. I'll it. be glad. To Will you also be teaching us how to enjoy eating our money? Yes, please. I am number one on that. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much. Come back next time. Bye.